We have a great laser craft project that sells and will show you how to make it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder to Make It? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We are always looking for easy laser crafts that we can sell. Last week we did those layered names with the clip art inside them. This week we're going to do something similar. We're going to do those layered letter piggy banks and we're going to show you how you can do it using only light burn or creative space. We're going to show you both. We've seen these all over Pinterest. I've seen them in TikTok, so I know they're hot sellers. So I think this is a great craft that you can make, easily make, and sell. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed some three millimeter acrylic. This is going to be the front of our bank. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is going to be the sides and the back and all the functional pieces of the bank. We're going to need some glue to hold everything together. We're using some Starbond Thick. And then we need some paint. We're using some Foxy Hughes paints. And that is it. Step two, we're going to make our design. We're going to show you how to do your design without any design software. We're going to use a light burn or Xtool Creative Space. Let's start in Creative Space and let's start with my piggy bank. So we'll go to text. We're going to replace hello with a G. And I want this to be like a thick, chunky piggy bank. I'm going to need the, this thing to store lots of change. So we'll make it chunky, five and we'll make this nine inches tall. All right, now I can't really weld this thing. It won't let me weld one letter. But what I can do to turn this into an object is go up to outline. We don't want inside. We just want zero. Okay. Now this one's an object, this one's a font. We can get rid of this one. We don't need it anymore. We'll take this one now and we'll give it an outline. I'll make my frame. We'll make my frame like just about quarter inch. I want to keep that little gap in the G. Okay. Now I got a frame. First, I'm going to make a copy of this big one that I just made. So Control C, Control V. We use this one to cut out the back piece and to cut out the plexiglass piece. So for this one, we're going to bring this to front. So arrange, bring to front. And we'll select them both and go combine, subtract. Now this is all one object. So now I have a frame. But let's go ahead and make this personalized. So we'll go copy paste and I'm going to add my name across the front here so I'll go back up to my text tool type out Garrett and then I just want this like a playful little font something that a kid would enjoy or at least be able to read nobody can read cursive anymore so we'll go fun font Good, but I think we can bring the line spacing in minus 0.3. All right, most everything touches. Let's go 0.4, and we'll weld it. Drag it out. All right, looks pretty good. Let's center it. We will align horizontal and vertical. I'm gonna copy my name. Copy, Control C, Control V, put this up out of the way. That way I'll make this part 3D, stand out of the frame. This frame, I'm going to grab both things and we're going to go to Combine, Unite. Now I'll be able to place this one on here when everything's cut out. I'm probably going to cut two frames. So I only want one with a coin slot. So we'll insert a rectangle. Make a coin slot in one of them and then I'll just take it out when I go to cut it again so I'll be able to cut out the backer and then use the same piece for the plexiglass a frame a frame with a coin slot the exterior frame and my name 
Now let's jump over to a light burn and do something similar. This one's going to be Kim's. I don't know if she needs to collect as much change as I do. We'll start with a K. And then her font is going to be Millie. Milligram Macro. So pretty chunky anyway. We'll make this one 9 inches tall too. And we'll add an outline to hers. So we'll go over here to offset. Oh, that's a pretty good offset. That's a little more than a little more than quarter inch. I like that 0.375. We'll keep it. We'll keep the rounded corners. We only want outward. We'll say okay. Now I'll make a copy of this guy. But I'm going to go Control D, which makes a duplicate right in place. And I'm just going to drag this over holding Shift. Now this piece is going to be in my backer and my plexiglass. And this piece will be my frame. Let's make this like a real frame piece. So we'll grab this one and then this one. And we'll go over here. Minus, oops. This one, then this one minus front. Yeah, there you go. It's all one piece now. And we're going to do the same thing where we're going to have two frames in the middle. So let's zoom out a little bit. We'll drag him over here. Copy paste. Now Kim doesn't want her name in here. She wants some kind of flowers in here. So I have some clip art that we're going to use. Here we go. I'm going to right click, trace image, looks great to me. Down here I have delete image after trace, so it's going to delete the PNG I just dragged in and leave me the lines. There's all my lines. We'll make this fit inside here. Kind of give it some flower right. Make it a little bit bigger. All right. Now I need to get rid of and trim all of these flowers that fall outside of the piggy bank. So I'm going to draw a big square around everything. I'm going to grab the K. I'm going to go Control D which will duplicate it and then I'm going to ungroup control U. Now I'm going to grab the square and the biggest part of the K and we're going to go minus front. Did it work? Let's see. Yep, there you go. Control Z to put it back. Now I'm going to grab all the flowers and the box that I just made and we'll go subtract from. Boom. There you go. We'll get rid of this guy. We don't need him. And I'm going to grab the frame and the flowers and we will go unite. There we go. Now I got some frames with the flowers. I got the frame piece over here. Oh, let's give it a coin slot. Just draw a rectangle. Perfect. So now I have a frame with a coin slot, and then I'll have the frame. I'll just remove the coin slot. I'll have the outside frame, then a little decorative piece. Then I'll have the backer, and I'll use the same piece to cut out the plexiglass piece. Step three, we're going to make all of our cuts. Since this project includes some transparent acrylic, we have to use a CO2 laser. This will work the same on any CO2 laser. It can work on the Glowforge, the Omtech Polar, but we'll be using the Xtool P2 to make all of our cuts. Our materials loaded, we're just going to measure the distance of the board. Oh, first let's set our material. We're using six millimeter MDF. 
Now let's measure our board. I'll just pick a spot in the middle. All right, only the stuff on the canvas will cut. Anything touching the canvas, it will think it's trying to cut and it will say it's out of bounds. So we'll grab these and move these out of the way. I'm gonna grab this whole layer and I'm gonna set the processing type as cut. I want 75% power and seven millimeters per second. No tabs, one pass, process. And start. Now let's engrave our acrylic piece. I already loaded the acrylic. And we'll move this piece out of the way. We'll move the G over here. I'm gonna change my material from six millimeter MDF to three millimeter transparent use. Let's set our focus, and while that's focusing, I'm going to go ahead and change this guy to cut. This says 100% power, 20 millimeters per second. Let's check that against the website. So I select P2 over on the Xtool website. Oh, acrylic, transparent. Six millimeter cut. Oh, this is saying 10 millimeters per second at 100%. Let's lower that. So we'll go 10 millimeters per second, 100% power, no tabs, one pass, process. And start. Step four, and now we paint. We're just gonna roll our top frame, our backer piece, and then for me, my, my word, my name. I'm just gonna roll it with these little foam rollers. All right, we're gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints. We're gonna put our paint on our paper plates, and yeah, just roll it, right? So with these, you're gonna roll the backer a solid color and then really all you have to do is roll your top frame and then your name. Garrett has two colors on his. Yeah, I got these two pieces. Mine's flower, so I'm just going to paint the whole thing one color. Keep it easy. Keep it easy. Step five, time to assemble. We're gonna bring it all together with some of this Starbond Thick. This is gonna be an easy assembly. We're gonna start with our backer and work our way out. It's gonna go backer, frame piece with our coin slot, frame piece, then our acrylic. We're gonna remove the protective film right before we glue it, and then the top frame. And then for mine, my word, or my name, because he's got to be extra. I got to be. Just take it to a whole other level. <laughs> now our tip with this glue, little goes a long way. This does not have to be waterproof. We're not going to fill these. These aren't going to be fish tanks. It's not an aquarium. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we just want to make sure that it sticks. So try and use a little bit of glue so it doesn't ooze underneath so you don't see it. Uh, typically this drew, glue dries with a little bit of a white haze to it. However, on our test piece, it's drying pretty clear, yeah, not but bad. you still don't want it to ooze out from underneath.
Step six, profit. So all in, including the MDF and the acrylic is about $15. And we think you can sell these for somewhere between $35 and $45. So, I think you... that's a good chunk of change. <laughs> oh, good chunk of change. Look, I like how they can fit multiple coins in at once. Did you see what I just put in mine? Oh, a dollar? Oh, a hundy. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't know what you're saving for. I'm I want in on whatever she's I hope she's I can get it for. back out. <laughs> be breaking the bank <laughs> step seven market your product now that you got a good product let's get some good photos get it on your website and then you pin it to Pinterest to get it out on Pinterest I'd also probably do some type of process video just assembling it and showing that you can drop coins and stuff in and then I think showing that you can get them right back out in the video would help too these make great gift ideas for kids and teens. Again, this would be great for a teen's room. That's why I tried to paint it these colors. I think this would be good in one of our kids' rooms. And then Garrett painted it with his own name because I'm sure he will put it in his room. His oh, yeah, main cave. Right. I'm saving for something. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where we have all of our cut files, we have a Discord channel, and we even have a monthly Zoom call. And it's more than just those things. We also have a great community of people. You can get your questions answered. You can get feedback. You can get ideas. There's tons of information out on our Discord channel and our Facebook groups. With that, we are about out of time. I got to get back to some marketing this thing. You got to get back to cutting this thing. And we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I said a lot of things. There's a lot of thing in that one. Ooh, there's a stubby guy. It's a little harder to balance. Yeah, Is it? Yours. Ooh, it's got the money in it. <laughs>